Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to create a performance patch and I'm going to work with an arpeggiator at the heart of that. I'm also going to use the flip script downloadable from the Jam Origin forum and I'm going to use two transposers, one on pedal and one is on velocity. Uh, the only thing I have open instrument wise in MIDI guitar 2 is a piano and then I have a reverb on that. So that's the whole patch. I'll set it up as you heard it in the beginning here. So to begin with, just go into the MIDI FX slots, and look for your arpeggiator. There you have something called tonic or root. And I'll just leave it at C. We have the choice of mode as well. I'm going to leave that at uh, Ionian as well. So this will this will be all the patterns from C major that you can think of. So I have a uh, steps to this arpeggiator and that would be how many steps in each arpeggio I'm using. I used five in the beginning here so I'll set this at 5 and I think I had BPM which would be the speed of the arpeggiator. I think I had it at 145. So it will sound something like this. Now how many of these notes that are going to be played is dependent on how long you let the note ring for. That would be all. So you see how you can sort of limit the amount of notes as well. Let's go on and open the flip script. As I told you, it's downloadable from the MIDI guitar forum. I have done some other videos on how to add functions to the MIDI machine artillery. So this is the flip script and it sort of works from the idea that we flip the tonal center around and we we can also move the point of that flip with some of these settings. So I have the first setting here at 64 and the other one I raised to 12. Now you're gonna see that it's all turned on its head so when I play high it's gonna be uh, low notes. That's the setting for the flip script. Now let's go to the first transposer that I'm using. We have three alternatives here and those are always transposer we have on high velocity and we also have the on pedal uh, version and that's the one I'm going to use here and I'm raising this one octave as I step on the pedal so I have my pedal here you can see it move <laughs> I think you see the use for that. Uh, the next transposer that I'm going to employ, I'm going to use in another way, and that's on high velocity. So whenever I strike a note above a certain velocity threshold value, it's going to be lowered by one octave. And I set it on high velocity, and I would say I'm gonna set it on somewhere around 90. So it doesn't always do that, but it's easily accessible. Here it doesn't. Here it 
Find Us. So now I can both raise and lower the output an octave. And that's how I built that patch. The great thing with using the onboard MIDI FX stuff is that you're not dependent on having your Ableton set up with a certain arpeggiator there. Of course, this is rather limited in its uh, functions, but it is what it is, and uh, this is what I did today. So, till next time, see ya, bye.